Hello there, and welcome. My name is Dr. Calliope. I'm going to be taking care of you today. Would you mind just confirming your name and date of birth for me? Thank you. Let me just write this down. Wonderful. And is that your preferred name? How do you like to be addressed? Very good. So it looks like today we have you in for a respiratory examination. Is that correct? Wonderful. Now, is there any particular reason why you wanted to have this examination? Wonderful. So I'm going to ask you a few questions just about your medical history. Do you have any current pain or illness at all? Okay. And any changes to the medical history that we have on file? Got those taken care of? Wonderful. What about your family history? Good to hear. And any new allergies at all? Any changes? Okay. And what about your medications? Any changes to that? Wonderful. So, the respiratory examination. What I'm going to be doing with you today is first we're going to perform a general inspection, look at your skin tone, look to see if you have any sort of difficulty breathing, what your breathing sounds like, things like that. We are also going to take a look at your hands. We're going to examine the anterior and posterior chest wall as well. We'll take a little look at your back and also at your legs. Just a couple of things with those at the end. Okay? All right. So, any questions before we begin? Wonderful. All right. So, from this point onwards, I will need to be touching you for the purposes of this examination. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? So we've already got all scrubbed up, and now we can do our inspection. So I'm just going to back up a little bit, and let's take a look at you. So as we've been talking, you haven't had any shortness of breath as you are speaking. And not seeing any issues with pallor. And I haven't heard any problems with your breathing, no signs of obstruction or any wheezing. Okay, so I think that overall, just looking at you, not seeing anything out of the ordinary. No cyanosis, no edema. Alrighty, and let's take a look at your hands. So if you could firstly just hold them out for me like this, okay? I want to look at your fingernails, I want to look at the skin, I want to look for any changes in the skin, okay? Alright, I'm just going to press on your nails. Let's do a little press and release. We'll check the capillary refill there. Good, we're getting quick color return here. Okay, would you mind flipping your hands over? Look at the skin. And you are not a smoker, correct? 
not of tobacco or or any other kind of recreational smoking. Good, good. Okay, let's flip them back over and I just want to palpate along your joints and look for any swelling in the joints. Okay, so each one I'm just going to take between my two fingers here and palpate. Do let me know if there's any pain or tenderness. Okay. Have you noticed lately if you have any issues with shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, any tightness in the chest, wheezing, anything like that? Okay. Good. This is just just a little checkup for you then, huh? Just want to make sure. Okay, so joints look good. And now I'm just going to be feeling the temperature of your hands and up into your arms, the backs of my hands, okay? So you don't have to hold them up or anything. You can just relax your arms. Good, and then I'm just going to very gently just palpate for the temperature. Good, so your hands are warm and dry and up the arm is also warm and dry. Okay, give me just a moment. And now we're going to be doing a couple different tests here. So first I'd like to check for finger clubbing. So if you could take your two index fingers and put them together like this, okay? So that the nails are touching, that the, the very first joint here is touching. And there should be a little window right there. Okay, if you could do that for me. Good, good, okay. And now if you could hold your arms all the way out for me, I'm going to be looking for any sort of tremor, okay? Just hold your arms out. And now if you could cock your hands back, okay, while your arms are out, and I will just watch. We're going to hold this here for a little bit, and this is looking for what's known as a flapping tremor. You can go ahead and put your arms down. And now I'd like to check your pulse, if you don't mind. Okay, do you have any preference as to which arm I use? Okay, let's go ahead and go here then. So I am just going to be palpating the radial pulse. Counting the beats with my head. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So I have your pulse and your respiration rate as well. Very good. So I have the bed reclined a bit for you. If you could just lean back on it 
Very good. And if you could turn your head towards the left. So this would be my left. If you could turn your head towards the left. Very good. And I am going to look at your jugular venous pressure. So we're going to sit here for just a little bit and I'm going to watch the neck. And then we're going to do a little check. or what's known as a hepatojugular reflux and hepato means liver, like hepatitis okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press in on your liver, okay? have you had any pain or tenderness in the abdomen at all? Very good. So I'm going to press quite firmly and we are going to check for that reflux, okay? So if you could just breathe as best as you can, okay? I'm just going to press in and watch at the neck. Okay. All right. That looks great. Go ahead and come on back up. Then let's inspect your, your face a little bit. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to take a look at you. And then I'd like to look at your eyes. Look at your mouth a little bit. Okay. No sign of cyanosis. You don't look overly pale for your skin tone. So I am just going to check the conjunctiva real quick. So I'm going to pull down on the eyelids and I want you to look up for me. Okay. Pull down, you look up. Good, good. Just keep looking up. Okay, and I am going to pull up and I want you to look down. All right, so I'm going to pull up, you look down. Good. Okay, looks good. Alrighty, thank you. So, the lips look to be normal color, and if you could just open your mouth for me. Okay, and I'm just going to look at the tongue a little bit. And then, I'm also going to have you lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth, so I can see the underside. You can go ahead and lay your tongue down there. And then we're going to work on the chest. So I am going to be looking for deformities. I'm going to be looking for any scarring. Are you showing signs of a barrel chest? Is there anything that's sunken in? Things of that nature. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at you, and I'm also going to have you lift up your arms for me, if you wouldn't mind. Good. Okay. No, no scars. No, that looks good. Ready? Okay, and then we're going to come up a little bit. All right, so we are going to be looking at the trachea. Now, I'm going to have you tuck in your chin a little bit, okay, just like that. And I'm going to be palpating along the borders of the trachea. I'm going to look to make sure that it is midline, okay? So this might be a little uncomfortable. I'm going to do one side at a time, all right? Okay, 
This is not a fun one, I know. It's a very sensitive area. So now I'd like to look at the cricosternal distance. Now, our hands look to be fairly similar in size, and this distance is based off of your fingers, but we can use mine for this. So, what about... There we go. So yeah, there's about three fingers right there. So, that is right where we want to be. Okay. So we've done our borders, we've looked at the distance. Okay. Now let's take a little feel of your heart. So I'm going to be feeling for the apex beat. This is going to be at your mid-clavicular line fifth intercostal space down, okay? So I'm going to be palpating the intercostals, which are those spaces in between your ribs, and finding the fifth one, and matching up where that is. That should be where your apex beat of the heart is, and if it's not in that area, that can be a bit of a problem, but we want to make sure that it's in the place it should be. It's not displaced. Okay. Alrighty, so I am just going to be measuring here. So we have the mid clavicular line right here. And then we can count one, two, five right here. And then I'm just going to be coming in. My finger's more horizontal here. And feeling that apex beat. Good. All right, very good. Now let's check your chest expansion. I'm going to be putting my hands around your chest pretty tight, okay? And then I'm going to have you take a deep breath in as much as you can. We're going to measure that chest expansion. We want to make sure that we are getting some good expansion and that one side isn't more than the other as well. So I'm going to wrap my hands around your chest. There we go. I kind of have little hands here. I'm going to have you take a deep breath in for me. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Okay. I'm quite pleased with that. And then we are going to be doing some percussion. Alright, so with percussion, I am going to be tapping on your chest. I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I'm just going to be tapping along it, and what I'm going to be listening is the tone that comes back. So, is it a resonant tone, which is what we want? Is it dull? Is it a stony dullness? Or is it hyper-resonant? So, I'm going to be tapping along the supraclavicular area, infraclavicular, along the chest wall, and also at the sides, okay? Alrighty, so I just need you to sit still for me. Okay, we're going to be doing a ladder-like motion here. So I'm always comparing one side to the other. Go down to the other, go down to the other, and what have you. Right? Okay, so sit still for me. So we're going to do supraclavicular. Infraclavicular. Good. 
and the chest wall. Okay, and I'm going to come into the side. And the other side. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that would be our axilla there on the sides. So, percussion sounded good on the anterior portion. Good, and then we're going to look at tactile vocal fremitus. That's kind of a, a weird word. So, it is an alternative to vocal resonance. So, that would be when I put in the stethoscope and I have you say 99 when I put the stethoscope on your chest. This time, I'm going to actually palpate your chest as you say 99, okay? So, I'm going to feel the vibration in your chest as you say it each time, okay? So... I'm going to be palpating each of the areas we just percussed. So we'll start with supraclavicular. And I am just going to have you say 99. Good. 99. Mm hmm. Then infraclavicular. 99. And 99. Good. And then on the chest wall, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, and on the axilla, 99. That looks pretty good. So if we had, for example, an increase in, in vibration in the lungs, then that may lead to having increased tissue density. If you didn't have as much vibration as we went through that test, that could mean that there is fluid or air outside of the lungs. Okay. So doing a little bit, doing a little bit of feeling there. And then we're going to bring out the stethoscope. And then that's going to do it for the anterior portion. Then we'll be moving to your back. So let's firstly take a little listen. And this is where I am going to have you do the breathe in, breathe out test. Okay? So, when I put the stethoscope on your chest, I want you to take a deep breath in and out, just like that, okay? All right, so, in the places that we already had percussed and palpated, we're now going to do our auscultation. So, if you could take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. breath in and out deep breath in and out deep breath in and out deep breath in 
deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. And let's hit the sides here. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Good. Very good. So now we are going to be examining you from behind. So we're going to look at the posterior chest wall. But before that, I am going to be feeling the lymph nodes in your neck, underneath your jaw, around your ears, okay? Alright, so, Noah, go ahead and get up here. And then, I am just going to be palpating behind the ears, firstly. These are the postericular nodes. Then we also have the preauricular nodes. These are in front of the ear. We have the submental and submandibular. These are underneath the jaw. Good. We have superficial cervical, posterior cervical, and deep cervical. These are all in the neck. Good. And lastly, we want to check supraclavicular. Good. And these are just above the clavicle where we had started our percussion our palpation, and our auscultation. Good, good. Now let's take a look at your back. So we're going to do the same steps that we did for the anterior part. We're going to start with inspection and look for any deformities, any scars, as we've been going through, have you had any problems with breathing? Has anything been uncomfortable at all? No? Okay, very good. So, let's just take a look here. And then we're going to assess the chest expansion. Very good. So I am going to wrap my hands around your back pretty tight and I'll let you know when you need to breathe in. Okay? All right. So if you could take a deep breath in for me. Good. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Wonderful. Now we're going to be doing some percussion, okay? There are about eight places that we are going to be percussing on the back. So this is going to go kind of along your scapula, all right? And we want to exaggerate the chest wall a bit. So I'm going to have you put your hands on each shoulder so that your arms are crossed, okay? And that just pulls the scapula apart. Then we can really get into the actual chest wall, okay? So if you could do that, and then if you could lean forward a little bit. Good, excellent. So let's get in with that percussion, okay? Good. 
Excellent. So now let's go ahead and let's test for our tactile vocal fremitus. So I'm just going to be having the border of my hand here. This is going to be positioned on your chest in each of those eight places. And I'm gonna have you say 99 when I direct you to, okay? Alrighty. 99. Good. 99 mm -hmm. 99 99 99 99 99 99 excellent so there was not a noticeable increase or decrease in vibration and then we're going to bring out the stethoscope so I am going to direct you when to breathe and we'll just test each of those eight spots if you could take a deep breath in for me and out Deep breath in and out. 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 Deep breath in. And out. Good. Very good. So we are done with the stethoscope for our examination. Now there's a couple things that we can check now. So while I'm here at your back, I am going to be looking for any sacral edema. So this is around the small of your back. Okay. So I'm just going to brace you here so that I don't tip you over. <laughs> okay, good. And then I'm just going to come back down. We are back. And now I'm going to check your feet for any edema, okay? So... I'm actually going to also be checking your legs for deep vein thrombosis as well. So if you could pop your legs up. There we go. Much easier for me and you. So let's feel for some signs of pedal edema. Okay, very good. So that is not... It's not staying sunken in where I press, which is good, okay? So I'm going to be feeling your legs a bit, palpating, and I'm also going to be squeezing on them, okay? If any of this hurts, let me know, right? Good. Looks like you have pretty good veins in the legs. Good. Okay. Now I'm just going to squeeze the calves and the shins here. Let me know if there's any pain. Anything? Oh, 
up in there. Okay, wonderful. All right, so I think we can confidently say that you do not have any signs of respiratory disease, not COPD, not asthma, not anything of the sort. I'm just going to take some notes here, since we were a little AWOL on the notes on your posterior side. Go ahead and sign off real quick. And that'll be it. So, is there anything that you have any questions or concerns about? No? Okay, wonderful. Well, I'd like to thank you so much for being an absolutely wonderful patient, and I'm glad that we did not find anything, okay? Thank you so much for coming into my office. I hope that you have a whale of a day, and a good rest of your night.